A two-lane road leads through the small Pender County town of Atkinson, a town now in the spotlight. Film crews have invaded, turning this old building into a bar. The bar we're in right now looks like the old tally, old tavern where I, I uh, was a bartender for a while in Nashville, and uh, and the guy behind the bar is perfect. He looks as beat up as the bar does. It's not the first time actor and singer Chris Christofferson has filmed a movie in our area. He says this setting feels very natural. I, uh, I grew up in the south. A little different down in Brownsville, Texas, but, but uh, I love it here. Provinces of Night is set in both North Carolina and Tennessee, but it's being filmed entirely on location in North Carolina, giving actors who have never been here a glimpse of what our area is like. Everyone's super nice. Um, I guess that's southern hospitality. And uh, yeah, it's been a great time. It's beautiful out here, so it's really nice to look around and see, uh, you know, see trees and, and um, you know, wildlife rather than. Um, a homeless person drinking on the, on the street. So how did location managers stumble upon this building in this town? Basically it was just hitting the road and finding a lot of stuff in Vic Griffin. The location manager, my buddy, found, you know, just tons of these locations and they're really wonderful places. It also helps that Jeffrey Ryan has been doing this a while and knew where to look. You know, nothing else looks like this that's close enough to the studio to work. I mean, and this is really the look that the script kind of demanded. And because of Screen Gym Studios, local crew members are working on the set and working on making a good impression. The people on the crew all seem glad to be doing what they're doing. People seem to want to be here. It's not just collecting a paycheck. It's a slightly overcast morning in the small Pinder County town of Atkinson. Almost a kind of dreariness that seems to fit in well with the principal theme of Provinces of Night. The movie is about a rural Tennessee family whose lives are filled with self-destruction. It's a script that attracted Grammy Award winner Chris Christofferson. I was really hoping that I could do it for a while. It didn't look like I could because I had concerts at the same time that we were going, but that, then they changed the date, so I got to. Christofferson's character is the family patriarch, a role he says he easily slipped into. He's old for one thing, <laughs> and he's a, he's a songwriter and a singer and drinker, and uh, it's not a big stretch for me. <laughs> Young actor Reese Thompson joined the cast as Christofferson's grandson. And once uh... You know, all these great actors started flowing in. Um, I got I got really scared, but excited because I was like, "Why am I in this?" During this scene, the two characters are in the same bar, but they don't know they're related. Screenwriter W. Earl Brown is on set. For him, watching filming take place is still hard to believe. No, oh, after the the rough road that we've had to hoe, it's, there's still the element of, is this, is this, are we really doing this? That's because this project is at least five years in the making. Three years ago, planning began to take place. Now, after two weeks, filming is nearly halfway finished. This one does shoot fast. It's, uh, and that's good at my age. I don't like to wait around a lot. <laughs> Once it wraps, then comes the process of getting the movie distributed. My experience on this project has been awesome. I mean, everyone's been great on the cast and the crew. I just, I, I found it a real good experience. I'm, I'm real pleased that I got involved in this.